it is a tensor. By itself, it has two directions, direction of the force and direction perpendicular to the area. These force are written like this vector. Okay? And if you consider this area, there is one additional force acting on this area. Imagine you have a box and you put into a ocean, if you stand in the ocean. If the box stays in the shallow water, or if the box itself is pushed down, do you think the force acting on the face here will be equal? No. Why not? Again, if you have sea level like this, and the box stay here, or if you push it down here, suppose the flow here is uniform. Do you think the force acting on this area and that area, which one is higher? Lower one. Why? Pressure. The one in the bottom should have higher pressure acting upon it. So pressure should cause a force as well, right? But in that picture here, we have not looked into pressure yet. So we need to add one more component of force. The force resulting in from pressure. So this force is caused by pressure. But pressure will give your force perpendicular to the area. So I'm going to write down another vector. This is unit vector in x direction. If you multiply by force, I'm sorry, multiply by pressure and multiply by the area. Suppose the area is one unit. So that line here represents force from pressure. Okay. If you divide it by 
unit by and unit volume here is the volume of fluid. So momentum per unit volume of fluid should equal to mass times velocity divided by some certain value of volume. And mass over volume here is basically density. Okay? So you have density multiplied by velocity. That should equal to momentum per unit volume. Is derived based on the whole bulk 
of the fluid. We do not consider specific point in the fluid. This is different, different from tau. Derivation of tau, we look into different spots inside the fluid. And we say that different spot, spot should have different velocity. And therefore, there will be transfer of momentum from one spot to another. That transfer like that, momentum represented by tau, supposed to be related to molecular transport momentum because it's transferred from one point to another, right? On the other hand, rho VB here, take the whole fluid as a whole and consider the whole momentum and see how this whole momentum is transferred by the movement of the fluid. So therefore, rho VB is considered as convective transport. Okay? So if we say that momentum transport can be written as two parts, molecular transport represented by tau. In addition to tau, we should have pressure term as well. Okay? This is molecular transport. A convective transport it is a term rho VB. It is also a tensor. Right? Please note that this is tensor. It has nine components. This is also a tensor, nine components as well. 